Hey guys, Bevo here, and not too long ago I did a quick look at the pop figures by Funko. I looked at their Avenger line, and of course with the Amazing Spider-Man movie, they made a Spider-Man figure. This was the only one for the line. There weren't any others. I was a little disappointed about that, but anyway, I went ahead and picked them up. As I've said before, I'm not a big Spider-Man fan, but I really did enjoy this movie. I was surprised by it. I really enjoyed it, so I went ahead and picked up the bobblehead. I got him from Target. He was about $9. He wasn't on sale like the Avenger figures were, but I went ahead and picked him up because I there weren't that many left, and I'm afraid they were going to sell out. So I went ahead and picked him up, and I'm glad I did. I really like it. Um, just a quick look. Let's look at the box. Um, you can see it's got the Pop logo on the front, and then a little side view, half view of Spider-Man. It's number 15 of the Marvel line. So there's a side that says Spider-Man. Spider-Man's peeking at the bottom. And on the back, another half view of the figure, and then the actual Spider-Man from the movie. And on this side, just Spider-Man again, with the pop logo, and the top is the logo. And a top view of the Spider-Man, so... And there's the bottom, it says Funko. But uh, anyway, there's the box, and let's look at the figure. Um, about the same as the others, it is a bobblehead, as I've said before, and it's about three and a half inches tall. Nothing is posable on it, only the head bobbles. You can see the eyes are gold, and I think that's because if you've seen the movie, his little... Um, his eyes are kind of, I think, supposed to be out of sunglasses when he makes the mask. So, I think that's a pretty good effect on this figure. Um, got the Spider-Man logo on the chest. Of course, you got the red feet and red hands and blue suit. There is some detailing. Can't really see. There is a texture on the glove hands and on the feet. The blue part is smooth. Then the back... Um, I don't know if you can see that really well, but there is a red Spider-Man logo on the back. Um, only real complaint I have about this figure is that the detailing on the mask, it is it is like grooved, it is imprinted, but it's not colored in. I would have liked to have been colored in black. As you can see on the box, it is, when it's drawn, it's black. I wish they would have went ahead and done that on the mask. But anyway, uh, that's the figure. Not much to say about it. I do like it. I think it's going to look nice with my other pop figures. But anyway, um, if you're interested in my other little bobblehead figures, uh, I've got a bunch of Batman-related characters. Um, the Dark Knight Rises coming out. You might be interested in those. Just comment, like, please subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys later. Um, if you're interested, and if you want me to do a video on my other figures, I have a lot of Batman-related ones. I might do that with the Dark Knight Rising coming. Um, but anyway, if you're interested, uh, just let me know. Comment, like. I've got a lot of Batman bobblehead figures. Uh, with the Dark Knight Rises movie coming out, 